hurt them too much, but they've a couple of sloppy defences, uh, you know, from Liverpool, which we're going to have a look at. Well, shortly. in particular, this one, wasn't it? I well, mean, Donnelly had a real chance the, here. I and mean, the, the, it. that was echoes of April last season, wasn't it, when they had a torrid month, which cost them the Premiership. Uh, and this one, David James, he must have shouted surely, but Bjornby keeps going. And then, well, it's just a tangle. And on his right foot, I'm sure that would have been a goal. Simon Donnelly, not his favoured one, and should have done better with that. It's basically a communication problem. The goalkeeper's come 15 yards. He's got to be vocal. If you want to be getting out of the way, it's mine. But Probably a bit stronger than that. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. a bit stronger. Yeah. But it's a, Bjorn, we can't see where the goalkeeper is. It's up to the goalkeeper to come and shout and get out of the way. But Liverpool aren't playing well, Des. I mean, they're not, no. they're not doing well in the Premiership at the moment. What, three wins in eight? Yeah, I mean, the only, the only saving grace for Liverpool, as Trevor says, is sooner or later Celtic have got to come out. Yeah. Well, nil nil and Liverpool are through. We, we, yeah, we, but, the, but the longer it goes on, the edgier Liverpool will get because they know one goal and they're out. Yeah. Now, we saw that wonderful McManaman goal two weeks ago and he had a shot here. This time on the right foot, his more favoured foot, but uh, this time it went well wide. I thought it was a great chance. He's yeah. on the edge of the box, it comes out to him. It sits up perfectly firm. And really, it's on the volley. Half volley there, got to keep it down, try and hit the target, but balloons it wide. The dreaded shinner, wasn't it, really? <laughs> what are you, Trevor? Yeah. No, but, but it's a bit in, harsh, Trevor. Pinged into the angle from there, it was. I mean, you know, it does sit up nice, but I think a long, long range normally he is not renowned for his power shooting. The, the, the actual goal he got up there was almost a pass and a curl into the net, and so he. I thought the last 15 minutes, Stephen Manham has just drifted out onto the left wing a bit to try and get that width that they're lacking at the moment but you know he and Berger and, and also I think Carragher struggled to get into the game well, because they keep creeping in on his area. That's right, you know, for, for 20 minutes made. Carragher don't get a kick yeah. because McManaman is coming on top of him. Right you've got a choice. Do you give it to McManaman or Carragher? Who are you going to give it to? You're going to give it to McManaman every time. Larson for Celtic had a good match two weeks ago and again he's, he's posing a few problems for uh, Liverpool tonight. Well they, they yeah, run off the ball well he and Donnelly. They, they've yeah. just not quite had the support generally. I mean but for a little lad to, to, to win a header and I, I think all season Liverpool are struggling on crosses and you know he's not the biggest lad and he gets a, across this That's a good run. It's That's a good, good movement. Just behind him a bit and yeah. he can't quite get on. He can't control it. There was, um, there was a weak horse uh, but we thought played well again two weeks ago. Yeah. He, he's not quite so much in the match uh, tonight, is he, Trevor? Not as an attacking force. I mean, no. you know, Paul Ince is, is more competitive. But I think, uh, you know, Furley and Vigors, as we say, in the second half, they're going to have to join the, the front more and more and more because you can't just leave Donnelly and Lars and, and hope they're going to pinch a goal. They've got to score, so they're going to have to give better support. Big Ross was involved in this chance we're about to see, and then there were cries uh, by Celtic for a penalty. What did you make about this? Yeah. Well, David James again comes on walkabout here, as you see. He doesn't get there, uh, and then it's a fairly soft header from Phil Babb. And, and what, you know, it, it does hit the arm. Should it go out? I mean, I've seen them given, but, you know, all, all the arguments about intent come. Yeah. I mean, I think in. the keeper has been excellent so far this season, and all of a sudden he's just having one of these nights. Not a great header from Bab, but to be fair, he doesn't know where he is. Comes out, it's a good hit. I think it hits his head and goes on to his No hand. penalty. No penalty. No, no question of it. We can then, argue a bit like West Ham. Well, well it's yeah. wide open, this, and that makes yeah. for good viewing. I, I hope our viewers um, agree. Let's just look at the other uh, scores at the moment in uh, the other UEFA Cup ties tonight. Arsenal, no, are through. But, um, Alan Hansen, it, you know, it wasn't a great performance by Liverpool. And never you, in doubt, days, never in <laughs> You were questioning them all the way through. <laughs> well, Celtic were a better side. I thought that for Liverpool in a big European night to go 85, 86 minutes with troubling the goalkeeper, you've got to have question marks. I mean, I didn't agree entirely with the system. Liverpool can improve. They must improve. If they come up against a good team in this competition, if they play like that, then they'll be on their way home. I mean, everybody's pointing the finger at the manager, run about here, but... He's put a, a quality team in the pitch, and the players have got to improve. I don't think there's any doubt about that. All right. Let's look at Donnelly, because he had a, he had another chance for Celtic towards the end there. Uh, yeah, well, I think Larson does well, doesn't he? He bundles his way through to the byline, and I mean, I think Hjornby does fantastic there. Definitely gets the interception, and they didn't even get the corner, so that was a good chance. good cover and defending there. Yeah. You know, it's a yeah. decent Celtic move, good ball in, but good cover and defending. And the keeper did well, eventually. You know, he made up for the errors in the first half, David James, because two minutes to go, he came off his line quickly. 
And if he didn't come off his line quickly, then they're in big trouble. Yeah. Do you think they can go far in this competition, Trevor? Well, they've got to, they got to improve. Yes. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're well short of their best. Uh, you know, the credit, I think, came for uh, Celtic over both matches, really. But uh, big room for improvement. And Liverpool have got Chelsea here at the weekend, and they've got to get better. I think Alan's Chelsea, sorry, Chelsea sorry. watching that would fancy the chances coming. Yeah, just a word about Alan Stubbs. I thought oh, yeah, I think he played terrifically well I thought tonight. Phil Bev did well as well. Oh, Phil Bev you wouldn't believe after the first game that it could have ended nil-nil. Absolutely not. But nil nil it was. 2-2 two, two on aggregate. Liverpool go through. A very brave performance by Celtic tonight. They were absolutely marvellous. But uh, Liverpool are in the next round. We hope to be covering that for you here on uh, BBC. Right now we'll say goodbye and hope that you'll join us for Match of the Day on Saturday.